First of all, I want you all to give an applause to yourselves because you made it. I am the final speaker. <laughs> give yourself a big round of applause, everyone. Thank you for being here. I want to talk about a big problem. Every year, the CDC reports that 100,000 people in the US die in a hospital because of a hospital-acquired infection. You've heard about this problem earlier today. Now, what Dr. Kevin didn't tell you is the number one way, according to the CDC, to lower these infections and effectively eliminate them is simple. It's hand washing. So our doctors and nurses are unfortunately notoriously bad of, of, of sanitizing their hands. So when we started Swipe Sense, we looked at hand hygiene, really asked ourselves the question, why is this not happening? And we found two problems. Number one, convenience. All the hand sanitizer products that you see in a hospital setting are mounted on a wall somewhere. So whenever a healthcare worker needs to perform hand hygiene, they have to stop what they're doing, go all the way to the wall, perform hand hygiene, come back. Now that sounds like maybe 10 extra steps. A busy healthcare worker needs to perform hand hygiene over 100 times a day. And suddenly you're looking at a huge, huge time sink. And the second problem with hand hygiene today is feedback. Right now, most hospitals today collect hand hygiene data manually with a pen and paper. So a nurse will get out of patient care, get a piece of paper, and check boxes. Doctor washed their hands, didn't wash their hands, washed their hands. Obviously, this is expensive. Obviously, this is ineffective. And obviously, this is not personal in real time. This is not useful for actually affecting behavior change. Now, with those two insights, this is what we invented. So this is a swipe sense. It's Hand Hygiene 2.0. It's a smart, portable hand sanitizer that clips on the scrubs of healthcare workers. And with a squeeze, you get the same amount of hand sanitizer that the wall-mounted dispenser gets you. And the electronics inside are packed with capabilities. The swipe sense knows where hand hygiene happens, when hand hygiene happens. We collect all, this, all of this data, millions of data points per day. And we use it to gamify hand hygiene. So people gain points. They compete with each other. They change their behavior through competition. So incentivization, in our minds, is the way to go to really affect behavior change. Some of the most prestigious hospitals in the US are now using SwipeSense, including Northwestern Memorial Hospital. And our study there showed that if you're a healthcare worker and you're wearing a SwipeSense, you do 64% more hand hygiene than your parents who aren't wearing one. Now, I want to wrap this up by giving you an analogy. I am old enough to remember that there was a time where we had wall-mounted phones in our homes. And you know, with those big rotary things, and you hated people with the number nine, because you had to dial the whole thing. <laughs> but I remember, whenever you wanted to make a phone call, you had to go all the way to the wall and pick that thing up and be mounted to that thing that stuck to the wall. Today, you have a smartphone. And I bet you make way more phone calls than you did 20 years ago. We believe a similar revolution is ready and ripe for hand hygiene. And Swipe Sense is right there at the peak of where it's happening. Thank you guys so much for coming here today. Thank you guys so much for listening. <laughs>